Hello, I'm Daniela Elena. Hello, I'm Daniela In episode, episode 93 of the Historical Paranormal, we'll discuss the strange internet trend of background, restlessness, anxiety, the feeling of living in an eternal deja vu. These are the emotions described by those who say they have found themselves at least once in their lives in a back room. The place are rather infinite, liminal places, characterized by an aesthetic as disturbing as it is paradoxically familiar. A disused warehouse, an empty swimming pool, a monochromatic office with flashing lights, the imagery of back rooms feels on non-places that evoke a strong sense of uncertainty in the observer and is one of the latest chilling products of the internet folklore which has gained strength thanks to the numerous speculations of web communities. Just think of the fame of the legends that orbit around the Sissel Hotel or the terrifying character of Slenderman. The theory of the existence of these back rooms was born on 4chan, an image board site where users post content of all kinds anonymously. Following a post depicting a monochromatic room with white carpeting and lights accompanied by this caption, if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noises of fluorescent lights and maximum humbuzz, and approximate 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. Practically a creepypasta, a fictional tale aimed at terrorizing anyone who reads it, which in no time, all at all has spread an infinite number of images of empty and gloomy rooms on platforms such as Reddit and YouTube under the tag Liminal Places. But what is it that attracts us so much that a phenomenon born completely anonymously on the web becomes pop? Our existence is studded with indecipherable events, which by nature we induce to explain. When we don't find the key and the right meaning to give to what happens around us, we find ourselves immersed in a tangle of confusion and uncertainty. The imagery of the back rooms perfectly embodies this state of mind and gives it form through a seductive, creepy aesthetic, reminiscent of the post-vaporwave world and abstractionism. The reasons why these locations are, are strangely familiar to us lies in the visual inputs that have been bombarding us for years throughout the media. From cult films like The Shining, shot in a dilapidated labyrinthian hotel, to video games of the caliber of Silent Hill, Grand Theft Auto, and Rayman, we have collected and stored in the drawer of our memory and fear a series of remote places that our mind goes to fish out and we are less alert, turning them into the background of our worst nightmares, the dark and foggy neighborhood of Stranger Things, or even Twin Peaks, Freddy's dream world in the Nightmare Saga, the surreal infinite prison of Cube, and the corridors and pools where the demons of It Follows roam, the loading zones between one level and another of a game, the menacing presence that watches us in the dark like clown Pennywise. The horror imagery of our era reworks the most cryptic scenarios of horror cinema and gaming, transforming them into metaphors of a more current and intangible fear. Backrooms are waiting backrooms are waiting areas with a strong symbolic meaning that perfectly represents the main fears of our century, social anxiety and horror vacuum. It is no coincidence that many artists choose these transition zones as the subject of their representations to express the best possible way these abstract concepts from the canvases of Fernidata Florence, a painter originally from Washington, D.C., to the famous 3D illustrator Jared Pike, and the crypto artist Hanai Mozami. Liminal places redefine the social anxiety of the 21st century with surreal landscapes excluded from space and time, looking threatening but equally bewitching. On the web, there are endless theories that orbit around the existence of back rooms in the real world. It would be mostly hallucinations in which ends up trapped during phenomena such as sleep paralysis or degenerative conditions for our brains such as Alzheimer's. The caretaker and experimental British musician between 2016 and 2019 has made an entire album inspired by these neurocognitive disorders. Everywhere at the end of time is composed of melancholic and disturbing melodies, some samples from the soundtrack of The Shining, which are repeated in the endless and disruptive loop. In this regard, it is interesting to note how the hypothesis of existence of these places goes hand in hand with divergence between mind and body, becoming a vehicle for another common fear, widespread on a large scale, the loss of control. Since ancient times, we have been fascinated by 
what is unknown to us and what escapes our reasoning, and we have tried to give shape to our fears in order to contain and overcome them. The supposition that in a place apparently vacant and uninhabited and a cold secret can be hidden only increases the degree of alarm and seduction that the place exerts on us. Liminal spaces creep into our artistic imagination. Paraphrasing the role of Dante's purgatory, they frighten us even more than hell precisely because they seem real. And there's plenty of videos all over TikTok and YouTube of these liminal spaces, as well as levels of the back room, which are very video game-like. It leads to the idea that because more and more people are accepting the idea that we're living within a simulation and that essentially our world is like a computer and then with the rise of metaverse and virtual and augmented reality, well, we see more fears or even forms of backrooms becoming more common with the spread of augmented and virtual reality. The idea of being stuck in an endless loop with strange entities like skinwalkers or creatures that rip the skin from your bones or party creatures that will turn you into a cake <laughs> on the party level or Slenderman-like characters or shadow people. The idea of multi Dimensions and multiverse, dimensions, and multiverse. Dimensions, all play into this background. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for until next time. Thank you.